Hello, I'm Michaela. And I'm Marlon. And this is Marbley, our cockapoo. And we live on the Swan Goddess, a 60 foot narrow board. So this week we would like to talk about what we have done in the last three weeks. Our bedroom transformation, which has been quite dramatic. It has been very, very dramatic, also quite shocking at some points. But now I think we have the most beautiful, magical little fairy realm really <laughs> i think yes i think before we had a, a bit of a full affair which was it wasn't very pleasant um it wasn't a nice relaxing space at all it was just a route to the front of the boat yes and on top of it i haven't had enough space for my weaving materials for my wool and you haven't had enough space for your tools um so you have had the idea of a raised bed and the old door was so so drafty i remember last winter i always needed to put a lot of pillows in front of it because it was so cold and and i think you also mentioned before about the importance of not being pressed against a damp wall for anything exactly you know. exactly so you will see the whole transformation in the next uh, nearly 20 minutes and i hope you enjoy and if you do so, so please give us a like and a subscribe. Our bedroom looks now. And I got so many boxes here for all my wool. Um, and the wardrobes are too small, really. And we also have problems um, with dampness. So all this will check here. First wardrobe is out. <laughs> So we started our bedroom project. Um, so we run completely out of space with my boxes for the business, with wool and Marlon's tools and everything. So we decided that we put this bed in front of the door but because we also did know that we have a dump problem on the side of the bed here. We wanted it in the middle because then we have a little bit space on both sides where the ventilation can go through. Um, what we did not know was that we have a real issue here in my old wardrobe um, and you can see all the mold uh, what is an absolutely nightmare down there is the water pipe a uh, water pump uh, and there's a the water tank so we presume because it could not breathe and it was all too cold um, and didn't get enough ventilation um, that it started to mold so badly so what we need to do now um, we got this insulation, what is made out of recycled plastic bottles, um, what I really like about it. So we will insulate the walls with this and also then somehow we will put um, wood on top of it and we want some shutters for the door and so the bed will go then roughly until here because it's raised so that we can put a lot of boxes underneath so in the next days we have to pull all these cupboards out um, the tricky thing is that we really need to work on one side because we still need the bed we need to sleep in it and once we've done this we can then rip the bed out and then go to the next side because at the moment um, I show you if you just turn our boat living room if you just turn Marlon and show our people how the living room looks at the moment because everything what is in the wardrobes or what was in the wardrobes needs to go somewhere so Marlon also has to build new a new wardrobe for this I think it's time to call it a day. I um, think so. I don't want to take any more apart because this is yeah. all that's left now is this and that. Yeah, it's a really and, um, quick look again. I don't think you can see anything unless I put a torch on. I just want to show it. We also got oh. a problem here now what on the ceiling. Doing? So. 
Ah. Anyway, it's nearly all out now. There we go. Our damage. Okay. And here we have even more mold under the ceiling. Yeah. It just smells everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah. So the walls are also damaged. Huh. Oh. Kind of Yay! Day three of our renovation more surprises so we just took the old um, cupboard down and you can see here all the dampness um, it's actually really really wet so and when we took the cupboard off also obviously all this wood is damaged the ceiling is damaged so we need to be a bit creative what we do with this now um, we started to insulate here our walls and we put the wooden flooring really thick up and I think that will look really really nice um, another thing what we need to do where the old wardrobes were um, there's no flooring underneath and also no flooring under the bed so we have to do a complete new yeah laminate or some kind of nice wooden flooring so day three Our wall. I don't know if that's here. Yeah, and it's already so much warmer in the night. Nice. Oh, you will get there. later our wooden lock wall is finished with the shutters and the ceiling is white the walls are more or less repaired and also new electric is done the water pump you can't see it now has a nice box down there um, and here's also the white little lid you see um, is where our water tank is, so we can reach that in the past. That's how our beautiful boat looks at the moment. Absolutely chaos. Um, and we are ripping out now. I'm just saying more mold, more surprises. The next stage, we're ripping our old bed out and it's so shocking. I mean, have a look here, how much more mold it is here. It is so disgusting. You know, imagine that I slept on that side and didn't see it. Oh my God. But hey, um, that's why we're doing what we are doing. So we rip it out, the bed will be in the middle uh, so that it can breathe and that it doesn't happen again. I also painted the walls purple, I'm not so sure about it yet, but let's bathe in daylight. <laughs> okay. We're putting in our new flooring board and look how beautiful that looks. There we go. So today is the day that we finally build the bed. So we have finished last night the floor. Um, it's already 11 o'clock, so we really hope we can do it until tonight um, because we have no space to sleep otherwise. We already slept the last two nights on the floor. 
and tomorrow we will get our new mattress so the old mattress will go so we really have to finish the job today um, so what we are doing here we still got in our storage our old um, king size bed was it a king size no it was a really really big bed and we're using the old um, panels and make a king size bed out of them and we build um, a raised um, structure so that is the worst first one what goes on and from here we hopefully just continue <laughs> let's see how it goes so it's half past two now so we need also to put out um, all the cladding over there because we saw there's more mold behind it um, but we started anyway with the frame now um, what looks at the moment I don't know if you can see it quite high um, but we will have a lot of storage space underneath what is great so let's keep on working it's dark now <laughs> but the frame is nearly done so let's see where we sleep tonight <laughs> Let's have a look what you're doing, Werner. So, we pyrography in our headboard. So our small headboard. Our small headboard, exactly. Because it was um, double, more than double the size. But we decided now to cut it and to give us two nice floating shelves, which make, um, yeah. To cover all that really up there the big big gap and yeah to have a nice shelf so but now the magic is happening here mm. 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 so the frame is done it's painted we put some floating shelves up we made a nice headboard and pyrography mushrooms and flowers and a triple moon um, the mattress has to rise now for 24 hours or so but uh, we won't have the time so we will sleep on it tonight so tomorrow we have to start with the cladding and build the wardrobe so i'm starting to sew our new curtains we also realized that the bed was too high so we brought it 10 centimeters down so that we don't need to sleep under the ceiling and marlon started now the wardrobe today, um, we will build our wardrobe out of our old bookshelf and um, yeah hopefully it will go in this corner and then we can hang our clothes again <laughs> see how it goes today so the wardrobe it's getting shape. We built today the wall out of our old bookshelf. So hopefully the last days now Marlon is building our wardrobe out of this old bookshelf. And I think it looks already great. Curtains are up, bed is up, but just all the tools are in it. And yeah, and we're getting optimistic. <laughs> That soon we will love normal again. Ah, oh, yeah, here's a cable hanging out of the wall yeah. for the spots. Hey, so far so good. So, evening, and it's nearly done. Mm. Frames up. So, today we built the wardrobe, nearly done. Um, still sitting in the chaos, but I sit on the bed, on a bed of chaos, what is great. So, we are, um, are able to sleep in our new bed. So, and hopefully in the next days we will finish, but it's still here the electric also, so we need to do this. But an end is inside after yeah, two and a half weeks now. Last touches now, um, make it nice and clean the bedding, beading, doing okay. other last touches. So beading goes on to give it a nice finish. Um, then I need to paint them the same color. And then slowly, slowly we're getting there for decorating. Meanwhile, Marbley found a new favorite spot here under the bed. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? So this is the delivery I've waited for. And have a look inside. 
We got a box full of hops and lavender because it says it's not just beautiful, it also says that it improves your sleep. So let's get inside. So we got our hops and uh, the, yeah, they're a bit brittle, so we have to be really careful. So we want to have them here along um, the wall um, on both sides, really. So, but uh, we need a lot of trimming, but um, is it not nice? <laughs> Having a little coffee break. I don't know if the hops are already affecting me, <laughs> but I feel really tired. And I also have to say, it's those last nights um, on the big bed, they're really like um, sleeping in a hotel. So, we sleep so well. Mind you, so I haven't slept the last two years on a small double. This is really pure luxury now. So I can't wait till they're up now. <laughs> yeah, they're getting all romantic now. One week till Christmas. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, we have had the idea to create a fairy bedroom, a hobbit hole, and when I saw this here from the two lovely guys of uh, Parking on the Wild Side, it was just crack on the eyes. Look at this. This tapestry for all the healing herbs. And I think is even see the hops are in there and we did not know how beautiful is this. I'm so so happy. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, I'm a bit overwhelmed now and I'm so so happy. I slept, I never ever slept so magical and enchanted. And this is exactly what, what we wanted to bring in here in this bedroom to get the magic from outside inside of the boat. <laughs> 